Today I want to answer a pretty serious question, that is whether university is actually worth it. Now a lot of people between now and results day are going to be wondering, is university actually the right choice for them? So today I thought I'd give my opinions having now basically finished my three years here at Durham University. So I think the first thing to point out is whether university is actually going to help you. Now a lot of people, including myself, rush into university thinking that it's going to solve all their problems and it'll give them something to do for the next three years while they actually decide what they want to do. Probably not the best advice. I think too many people nowadays are kind of running into university just because that is kind of the norm. I think you really need to kind of have a sit down with yourself and properly think about what you want to do. I know this is like very, very difficult to think about when you're only 18 years old. However, it really will pay off in the long run if you can kind of try to think about roughly what you want to do. I think if you can't think of a career path that you want that needs a degree, I don't think there's a point rushing into a degree course that's not going to get you into your career path. Because sooner or later, you're going to end up finishing your three years just like I have, and you're going to be thinking the exact same question as you were three years ago, and that is, what now? It's worth thinking before doing. You can always come back to university at a later date if you decide you need it, and if you decide that you've found a career path that you want to go to. Now these points get increasingly more interesting and delving deeper into the actual culture of university, because there's some, there's some things going on behind the scenes that quite often at offer days and open days they're not going to show you because they present this glorious view of university basically to attract more people to come in because that is cash money, profit. And profit drives universities. Now you may think to yourself that no, the universities really want me when I went on those open days and everything, they were so kind and so opening and everything. But that's not always the case. Let me elaborate a little bit more. So currently nationwide in the whole of the UK, there is a union of kind of teachers and lecturers, professors called the UCU. The UCU is there to protect lecturers and teachers and whatnot. You'd think the universities would treat their staff right, but that's not always the case. Since I've been in Durham, there have been multiple strikes every single year. This has obviously impacted learning, which means that you'd think that we'd get a refund because we've missed out on the learning. Spoiler, we don't get a refund. Considering you're spending £9,000 a year for then to just miss out on lectures. Obviously, if you're a STEM student, this impacts you way, way more because instead of just missing two, three, maybe four lectures, you could be missing out on 20, 30, 40 hours of content, which is quite a lot. And missing that will mean that it has a detrimental effect on everything else. So if you miss one thing and then you don't understand what's going on later on down the line, you've then got to catch up based on the stuff that they've missed and you don't get a refund for any of that. Which is kind of silly because if your train is cancelled or anything like that, you'll probably get a refund. It's that kind of thing. If you don't get the service that you're paying for, you get a refund. In addition to that, recently there's been massive scares about a marking boycott. 44 universities in the UK signed up to do a marking boycott. Now, what that means is that anyone in second and third year will be directly impacted. If they can't get their final grades, it's particularly third years, so that means that they won't be able to enter their grad scheme jobs, they won't be able to take up their master's places, which has a massive, massive impact, especially people of working class backgrounds. So this means that people could be losing out on a full year's worth of pay, a year's worth of education. And what do those people do in the year? They've got to wait, reapply to jobs, reapply to master schemes, reapply to these grad schemes. So it puts everyone back by one whole year, which really, really affects every single person. Luckily, Durham University has been pressured into making the concessions to the UCU. However, I'm not sure that's the case of 43 other universities. So yeah, the current state of university is probably not as all shiny and gleaming as you may have first thought. So it's worth bearing that in mind. I don't want to put people off university because there are positive things that do come from it. I think this brings on to the next point in the university is fundamentally expensive. It's £9,250 per year. That's a lot of money when you consider that's three years and that's not including paying for your rent, your bills, your food, anything like that. It is a lot of money. I know there are student finance schemes in place and I'll see they do cover it to an extent but where they don't cover it they expect your parents to kind of pay the rest. 
Now for a lot of people, this doesn't happen. So they're forced into working part-time jobs, um, sometimes more than one. So you gotta think about, okay, well, I might be having to do my studies and then have to work a job on the side just to pay that extra bit of money into your rent. So then you've actually got to think, well, is university worth it? Now, for a lot of people it is. Obviously, if you want to become a doctor or a vet or a lawyer, you really need to go to university because there's literally no other way that you can get into those careers otherwise. Anyway, that has been the overly negative side of things. Um, there definitely are positives, so let's speak about those positives. I think first off is that university provides some great experiences, some great memories. I mean, I was personally quite unfortunate in that my university experience landed slap bang in the middle of a COVID pandemic. Aside from that, it does create some absolutely amazing experiences. You get to meet so many amazing people. It grants you independence. For some people, it's the first time that they've ever been away from home and it gives them that financial freedom. It gives them an opportunity to live by themselves and really kind of like um, learn skills for like the wider world, such as paying your bills on time because yeah you've got to do that obviously i don't think it's justifiable to go to university purely for the experiences because well you could probably get that elsewhere let's be honest however i do think the university can be really really good for getting involved in certain sports and societies it leads as kind of like a pathway into getting involved in careers in say sport or journalism and stuff like that where you wouldn't probably get the experience otherwise. Let's take the example of getting involved in radio. Now radio is notoriously difficult to get involved in anyway purely because there are so few radio stations and so many people wanting to become radio DJs. I mean why wouldn't you? And that's where something like student radio can come in really really handy. Quite often there'll be a recording studio and you'll get the opportunity to have your own show and you'll be given the support and stuff you need to create that. And yes, it may only be to 10, 20, 30 people. I don't know how many people listen to these things, but it gives you that platform, it gives you that experience. And then if you want to apply to jobs further on from there, you can say, yeah, I've worked as a radio DJ. I've had my own show. I know how to work all the buttons and switches. And that really sets you up if you want to go and become a radio DJ at like a local level, and then you can build yourself up from there. So university can provide some really, really, really good opportunities to get you involved in certain things that you might not have been able to otherwise. And also sport could lead you into professional sport. So it does give you that opportunity if you're really, really keen on pursuing certain, certain things that wouldn't be accessible outside of university. So those are kind of the positives and negatives. Obviously, this is very much based around my own experience. If university is actually worth it for me, currently I think it's very difficult to determine because, well, I haven't finished properly. It will really become apparent in the next kind of five, 10 years whether it was worth it. Obviously, I think my outlook would be very, very different if COVID didn't happen, um, just because I feel that has kind of impacted my university experience as a whole, especially in terms of education. Although I do think if there's one takeaway from this is that universities don't care about you. They're purely there to make profit. They'll do anything they can to kind of rope you in. And once they've roped you in, they don't care. It's like, I think one good example is that I think for Durham, they paid some students up to like 5,000 pounds to defer during COVID, there were still those people that had kind of missed out on so much content from lectures and they weren't given a single penny. Obviously, this is only my own advice and this only reflects what I've experienced. So this is not gospel. It may be very, very different elsewhere. If you want to know more about if university is actually worth it, why not check out this video where it's a day in my life here at Durham University.